take a look at some of the school libraries in North Carolina and find out what's happening there. We'll see school libraries in action, planning for library use, guiding pupils' reading, teaching library skills, supplying instructional materials, and guiding pupils in their reference work. Planning library use. The school librarian is the key person in planning and guiding all school library services. The school librarian works with teachers, principals, and supervisors in selecting library materials and planning for library use. This library supervisor is helping an elementary school principal and librarian plan the effective use of class periods in the library. Guiding pupils' reading. Children are stimulated to read in many ways. Bulletin board displays create interest in new and outstanding books. Pupils enjoy making displays of their favorite books. Story Hour is an opportunity to enjoy with children books which form their literary heritage. These boys and girls have come to the library with their teacher for their weekly library period. They enjoy participating in the Story Hour by talking about the stories and pointing out the characters in the illustrations. This class is interested in a play to be given by the Children's Theater, Alabama and the Forty Thieves. The librarian is providing background information. The children know that the beloved Arabian Nights tales came from Persia. They consult a world atlas and learn that Persia is now the modern nation of Iran. Everyone gets a chance to locate Iran on a map of the Middle East region. The librarian recalls Rimsky the same story. As the library period ends, one of the boys brings a copy of Arabian Nights to his teacher, who borrows it to read aloud in the classroom. This high school English class has put on display in the library the projects which resulted from their unit of study. Library materials provided background information for these projects in which the England of Chaucer comes to life. Sharing time, when students tell others about books they have enjoyed, is an important part of reading guidance. Here Judy shares with her classmates a favorite story, The Five Chinese Brothers. As Judy's classmates enjoy the story, they are gaining experience in listening, which is an important language arts skill. A flannel board is used to illustrate the story. For Judy, storytelling is an opportunity to develop ability in speaking, another major language arts skill. She is learning how to speak with expression. Hearing the story together heightens the children's pleasure. Browsing time gives pupils chances to read independently and to sample varied materials. They use magazines to satisfy special interests and to keep up with current affairs. They work on independent projects. They listen to phonograph recordings in the library. 
They borrow books from the school library to read at home. Through reading guidance, boys and girls are stimulated to read widely. These second graders wait in line to check out books during their weekly library period. Student library assistants help with the library routines. They check books in and out. They can be depended upon to see that each book card is properly stamped, counted, and filed. These girls are returning books to the shelves and arranging them properly. Through shelving library books, student assistants learn more about library classification and become familiar with the books in the collection. Older pupils find pleasure in reading stories to primary children. First graders make an attentive audience. Teaching library skills is a major responsibility of the school library. Library lessons begin in grade one and continue all the way through school. One of the first skills the pupil needs is how to borrow a library book. As a part of learning this, children are taught to fill out a book card. Here Peggy signs her name on a book card for the very first time. It's a proud moment when she checks out her book from the library. This older group is learning how books are arranged on the library shelves. They have talked about proper arrangement and now they demonstrate their skill. They are using cardboard slips representing the spines of books. Each slip has a Dewey Decimal classification number lettered on it. The boys and girls arrange themselves according to their classification numbers in the order in which books stand on the shelves. Here are others to add themselves to the arrangement. The pupils are quick observers. They notice at once that the 502 is out of place and the correction is made. Skills learned in elementary school are built upon year by year. Here a high school teacher reviews library skills with her class before they go to the library to gather information for a debate. She shows them several helpful magazines. The students look at back issues of magazines and discuss their content and arrangement. The teacher reviews special features of the card catalog, which the group learned to use in elementary school, and answers questions raised by the students. They talk about the use of current biography for up-to-date information on people in the news. The arrangement of a volume is examined. After this preparation, the students are ready to go to the library. Supplying instructional materials. The school library supplies all types of instructional aids, including books and non-book materials. Pupils use varied sources in gathering information.
this boy is borrowing a volume of the encyclopedia for his class to use. The library lends collections of materials to classrooms. Audiovisual materials for classroom projects are not overlooked. These first graders have come to the library to get a phonograph and recording. A student assistant checks out the aids requested by their teacher. Driving the Chantilly Express is a very important responsibility. Films and film strips help make learning exciting and meaningful. The school library organizes film strips and distributes them to classrooms. Film strips on plant life requested by the biology teacher are being checked out by these student library assistants. The library information file offers pamphlets, pictures, and clippings on many subjects. An English teacher and one of her pupils select materials for their study of Shakespeare. Guide reference work. The school library is a laboratory for reference and research. The card catalog helps pupils locate books by author, title, and subject. Bibliographies are used to locate materials on special subjects. This girl is selecting a book on colonial America. Pupils learn to consult several sources for information. This group is studying life in Asian countries. They find information in books, magazines, and pamphlets. Globes and encyclopedias contribute additional material. The atlas is also consulted. The school library's information file supplies pamphlets for a unit on conservation in North Carolina. The librarian and the teacher work together in guiding pupils in their reference work. They give individual help as it is needed. It's an easy matter for a high school student to find the book she wants by using the card catalog. She makes a note of the classification and gets the book from the library shelves. By the senior high school level, students, through careful teaching and reteaching and guided experiences, have developed the skills needed for independent use of the library. They learn which reference books to use for a particular purpose. Encyclopedias are consulted for concise and accurate information. Books of quotations answer the question, who said it? and offer ideas for speeches. The abridged reader's guide to periodical literature and index to magazines is being used to locate an article on space travel. The student fills out a request slip with the title, volume, and issue of the magazine he wants. He calls for the magazine at the circulation desk. A student assistant gets it from the storage area where back issues of magazines are kept on file for reference use. In this film, photographed in North Carolina schools, we have seen school libraries in action. 
We have seen planning for library use by librarians, teachers, principals, and supervisors. We've seen school libraries guiding pupils' reading. And they're listening. and providing boys and girls with opportunities to sample varied materials. Opportunities for personal development have been shown. We have watched the teaching of library skills, which enable students to use library tools. We have seen school libraries supplying materials to meet curricular, and personal needs. We have seen the librarian and the teacher guiding pupils in their reference work through planned experiences in using the rich resources of the school library.